Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate grid. This is standard 6.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 which is a new item type called Hotspot off the online practice redesign star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So there's no scrolling. This is the entire problem. There is no A, B, C, or D. We need to choose two of these points and they've given us the 4 comma 3 and 3 comma negative 4 and you notice I have to select two right so if I select any of these you're gonna get a little bit of a of a dashed blue circle but what happens if I just try to select one and hit next you're gonna get an error message that says you have not answered all of it and if I try to select two and then select a third one I'm trying to select this third one down at the bottom and it won't let me so you cannot select more than two all right, so let's open up our graph draw feature, increase our transparency, and see what we're looking at here. So we have four quadrants. And if we wanted to label them, we could go ahead and do that real quick. So in fifth grade, everything we did was right here in quadrant one, meaning our X and our Y were both always positive. In sixth grade, we've expanded here to where we've got quadrant 2 which has a negative x but a positive y quadrant 3 which is both negative negative x negative y and then quadrant 4 using roman numerals there which is a positive x but a negative y so if we look at that we can say all right so this has to be quadrant 1 because both are positive right there and then if we are looking at uh, this right here, this has got to be quadrant 4 because it's got a positive x, negative y, which makes it a little bit easier. But let's just take a look at that first one first. We've got a positive 4, negative 3, so we're going to make sure that we hit our x first and our y second, simply because I always remember it as our uh, alphabetical order. X comes before Y, so we need to make sure we're moving horizontal first. That's our X. And then our Y second. That's vertical. Always starting at the origin. So here's our origin right there. So if we're going to move positive 4, right? There is no negative, so it's always assumed to be positive if there's nothing there. So we're going to hop over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so positive 4, and then we're going to move up and down positive 3, so positive is going to be up because negative is down. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, and look at that, we landed right there on that guy, so I'm going to go ahead and, there we go. You notice the other one right next to it is slightly reversed. Look at that one right next to it. It's this is 3 comma 4. So they just flipped the x and the y coordinate. So that's I'm assuming this going to be one that's selected if someone gets a wrong answer. This is a two point question here. Now, let's see what happens on this next one. I'm going to change colors. We need our x and we need our y. And so, once again, we're going to start at the origin. We're going to go positive 3. So I'll jump on the top here. 1, 2, 3. And then you notice my y is a negative 4. So that means I need to go down on my y-axis. There's really only one down there, but let's just go ahead and check it out. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right. So if we see our second point is going to be the only point that is down there in quadrant 4. So that's going to be that right there. And that's it. That's all you need for the answer is to select those two points. There's no A, B, C, or D to choose from. And that's it.